Hey guys, it's Greg. I'm going to share my Ken Caminiti collection with you guys today. I usually collect Tim Salmon, Frank Thomas. When those guys dry up or they're getting expensive, usually Tim Salmon dries up, but Frank Thomas gets expensive. So I've established a side collection for other players. Nomar Garcia Para, Andrew Jones, Ken Caminiti, Paul O'Neill. I like to collect those guys as well. Gives me something else to do on the side. They're not horribly expensive, so it's easier to collect. I've got a lot of Tim Salmon, so sometimes I'll get on eBay and there's really nothing for me or the prices are crazy. So I go to the next uh, side PC when I'm getting a little bored and want a, a quick baseball card fix. King Caminiti is one of those guys, and according to my Beckett Organize, I have 33 cool King Caminiti cards. So I'm going to show them off with you real quick. First is the Desert Shield Ken Caminiti, as you can see, Desert Shield. Uh, I really like these in Tiffany's, so I'm sure you guys do as well. Nothing new here, um, but they're really cool cards. Next we have the Finest, 93 Finest. You guys are familiar with these. This is the inaugural finest set. Kicked everything off. Started a whole trend leading up to this. The refractor. 93 finest refractor. Everybody wants them. Sometimes nobody can find them. Very cool cards. Love the Caminiti. Glad I got it. Um, I probably will have this forever. I would love to have that set. Who wouldn't, right? <laughs> Next up is the 94 Finest Refractor. Also very cool. I like 93 better. I think we all do. But 94 is an honorable mention. Then we have... Uh, this is the Collector's Choice Gold Signature. This is from 96. Love the gold signature. These are pretty rare. Huge set, so it makes them hard to find. But I really like these cards. Followed by the Team Checklist gold signature. Another cool card, 96 as well. Then we have the first year Top Chrome Refractor. I told you guys in another uh, video... I pulled a Griffey refractor out of these from a, like a 10 packs of, of Topps Chrome at a retail pharmacy. Very cool experience. Love these. I noticed the back, they're a little um, off-centered, a lot of those. I don't know if they all are, but a lot of them seem to be. Then we have the 97 Bowman Best Cuts. This is not a refractor, just regular, but it is die cut right here, right there. You can see through it. You can see um, right through the best cuts as well. Followed by 97 Collector's Choice Big Shots gold signature. Nice action pose right there. Here is the 97 Finest uh, embossed it's die cut. As you can see, I would love, love, love to find this in a refractor, but I have not. Very cool card. Then here's just the regular gold refractor. Uh, not embossed. If you find one, let me know. We have Dress for Success uh, from Leaf. Cool card. Numbered uh, 3500. This hat is like a... I don't know how you describe it. Like a canvas. Yeah, canvas type texture to it. I like these cards. Um, very cool and unique. One of my personal favorites, the Gold Crown. 97 Pacific Gold Crown die cut. Kind of kick-started the Crown Royale for them. Love Pacific, as you guys know. Here is a deceptively hard card, hard card to find. The Score Reserve Collection. 
you can find your player, I would recommend that these cards are hard to get a hold of. Here is the Select Company from 97. I like these as well. Not as hard to find, but very cool and are similar in style. We have the Sports Illustrated 97 Extra Edition. There's the little stamp right there. Love Sports Illustrated. Didn't really care for them as a kid, but like them now. The pictures are amazing. 97 Stadium Club Patent Leather. These are real, real cool. You, they got like a little see-through right here. Um, die cut. Looks like a car, or a, sorry, glove. Um, obviously, he was a great defensive player. Warranted in this set. I like these a lot. Cool gimmick by Stadium Club. They also have a members only. Actually, what do you know? This is the members only. See, it says right there. Members only. That's how you know if it's members only. I had the hardest time figuring that out. Um, but that's the easiest way. It says it on the back. Next up is the 97 Ultra Hitting Machine. Also a die cut. Looks like a machine. There's the wheels, the gears. Um, very cool card. Got that metal feeling to it. Next up is the 98 Flare um, Showcase. This is just Road 2. Not a legacy, just Road 2. Now here's a legacy, 98 Road 0 Legacy. Thought about putting this set together. I've got about 10. Wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm a big fan of this set. Number to 100, Row Zero Legacy. Now, as some of you may know, I'm a huge Platinum Medallion fan. 98 Ultra Platinum Medallion riding a bike. Very cool card. I remember getting a gold medallion out of a pack as a kid, but I bought the Platinum. Next up is the... Um, Ultimate Victory Parallel numbered out of a hundred. These are very cool cards, very shiny. I'd like to find the 101 of that. Here is the 99 gold medallion. I like these a lot. Followed by the platinum medallion. Dun dun dun. Super sweet. Then we move on to my autographs. Um, I think this is, let's see, 90, Donna signature, 98 Donna signature, sorry. I used to be better at knowing these years. 98 Donna signature, um, Millennium Marks. Maybe not Millennium Marks, just the, yeah, Millennium Marks, I was right. 98 Donna signature, Millennium Marks. This is one my probably my favorite, I think. The 97 UD3 Superb Signatures. Um, you can't see it, but this is a, like an acetate see-through. Um, maybe he's hitting. But there's the signature. Um, these are really cool. When you put a light behind it, this thing shines like the um, EX stuff. Very cool card. And then last but not least is the Skybox Autographics. Ken Caminiti. Very cool. Those are my Ken Caminiti's guys. Um, hope you enjoyed them. And as always, I'll see you on the podcast.